This is a complicated, slightly complicated diagram, but there's not actually much to extract from this, but I need, just need to illustrate a couple of points. I've, I've assumed here that, that, that this particular company has got what's called a working interest of 50%. That's my equity in the project. And I've got my field, my gross reserves in that little box are 150 million barrels of, say, this, this is 2P reserves, but let's say it's on the one case. In this particular tax royalty system, I'm paying royalty of 10%, and I've got a tax rate of 30 Calculating the barrels is actually quite straightforward. So the first thing you do with a $90 oil assumption, we'd calculate the total revenue, we subtract the royalty, it becomes our net revenue. Those, the royalty of 10% means 15 barrels, 15 million barrels of 150 is, is payable as a royalty. Okay? So you come down to pre-tax revenue, in this case $12.15 billion. That's equivalent to 135 million barrels of oil. I mean, it's effectively 150 minus 15, so I needn't necessarily have gone to revenue and subtracted numbers. The only reason for doing that is that the, there's a link between barrels that are booked, so the 135 will be the bookable barrels to the contractors or the oil companies. That's linked to the pre-tax net revenue that's the, the, um, of, the, of the company, all right? You've got to remember that when we go to the production sharing. So the barrels booked is equal to pre-tax net revenue. So how would we report? That in this field, this is an extract of one-hour tables. Full field gross reserves, 150 million barrels. The company's reserves, or the gross reserves, gross reserves refer to as the working interest reserves. So if I've got a 50% working interest, then it's half of 150. The net reserves are the ones that matter, in particular. Net reserves are 67.5. Why is that? Well, because the royalty in barrels don't belong to me. Okay? The royalty in this case belongs to the state. So I actually only have a share in half of 135. I can't claim ownership or any kind of interest in 15 million barrels that don't belong to me. All right? The only time that this is slightly different is in the nature of the royalty payment. If the royalty payment is payable what's called in kind, in other words in barrels, then I have to subtract it off the numbers. If I pay the royalty in cash, which I think is the case in Thailand, then you can treat royalty as a form of revenue tax. So if it's part of revenue tax, then my pre-tax revenue is before I take the royalty off. So I don't have to subtract royalty from those numbers. In this case, the gross net become the same number. All right? In the UK, there's no royalty at all anymore. There used to be 20, 30 years ago. So in the UK reporting field, I wouldn't need two columns because gross net is exactly the same. All right? So that's the simple case. Now let's have a look at a production sharing arrangement.